Welcome. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing and look at all the cards for the Nova Hero Pack for Marvel Champions, a card game. So down at the table, taking a look at Nova, we can see this is a 60 card Hero Pack, which includes one pre-built Nova deck along with uh, new cards that can be added to any Marvel Champions Hero deck, new modular set that can be added to different scenarios, and a Nemesis set featuring the Warbringer. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. My fingernails can separate this. So we've got our stack of cards and then a little bit of artwork for Nova, who I know nothing about in the universe of comics. So here we go, learning a bit about him. A boy, a helmet, and an intergalactic legacy, Sam Alexander isn't just any 15-year-old. He's just been recruited to the Nova Corps the universe's police force, and it's his job to look after his family and his planet. So it contains everything you need to play as Nova. For your first game, take all the cards preceding the divider card and set up. See the remaining cards included. After the divider, it can be used in creating your own custom decks. So some rules, clarifications, stacking tough status cards. A character with more than one tough status card would take any amount of damage. Discard only one of those tough status cards to prevent that damage. And keyword requirements for resources. A card with a requirement keyword cannot be played unless each resource of the specified type is spent while paying for that uh, card's cost. And he is coming into this with aggression. So we've got his cards out here. We'll go ahead and separate. So we've got his core set of cards, then his stack of aggressions, then basic cards making up his uh, 40 card deck. And this obligation and nemesis set, and then our extra cards for different aspects and our other modular set. So Nova is coming at us with a thwarter one, attack of one, and a defense of two, which are some low stats, but I'm sure some things are going to help modify that. So response after you use one of his basic powers, ready supernova helmet, and he's got a hand size of five and ten health. It's an Alter Ego, Sam Alexander, Recovery of Three, Civilian. It's an Alter Ego action, spin a resource of any type, search your deck and discard pile for a Supernova Helmet. Add it to your hand, put it into play instead if you paid for this ability using a wild resource and a hand size of six there. So I kind of want to find his helmet first. We'll look at everything else after the fact. So his helmet's a one cost upgrade. Nova gains the aerial trait as a hero resource, exhaust supernova helmet to generate a wild resource. Then we have Miss Marvel, a three cost ally, four to one, attacking one, three health, champion and human. Hero response, after you play an event, exhaust Miss Marvel and deal damage to her, return that event to your hand. So playing off somewhat of her ability in her identity deck. Let's see, force field projection, we've got two of those, a one cost event. To superpower, hero interrupt. When a friendly character would take any amount of damage from an attack, prevent three of that damage. If you paid for this card using a wild resource, deal three damage to an enemy. Then we have three light speed flights, two cost event. Superpower thwart, double the number of wild resources generated while paying for this card. Hero action, remove three threat from a scheme. Then we have three pot shots, two cost events. Attack superpower, double the number of wild resources generated while paying for this card. It's a hero action, deal four damage to an enemy. So I'm hoping he's got a lot of wild cards somewhere else. Uh, doesn't look like it though. Unleash Nova Force, a one cost event, superpower, max one per round. Hero action until the end of the round, each time Nova defeats an enemy or removes the last threat from a scheme. Ready Nova and draw a card. Then connection to the world mind, two of those. It does not count towards your hand size. That's interesting. So I guess when you draw it, we'll just keep on going. And then a two call support, Jesse Alexander, Persona. It's an alter ego action, exhaust Jesse Alexander, shuffle one copy of connection to the world mind from your discard pile into your deck and then draw a card. So that's his core 15 card set there. Then seeing his aggression card, starting with some allies, or an ally. Got the Locust, two costs, four to one, attack of one, two health. 
Champion, play only if your identity has a champion trait. It's a hero response. After the Locust enters play, add an aggression red event from your discard pile to your hand. It's nice. Two costs to get a card put in your hand. Then two, chase them down. We've seen this card before. Zero cost event. Response, after your hero attacks or defeats an enemy, remove two threat from a scheme. Then we have three pitchbacks, a one cost event. Play only if your identity has the aerial trait. Hero response, after your hero attacks, deal four damage to an enemy. Then we have three, no quarter. Two cost events, requirement is a physical resource. Hero action, deal four damage to an enemy for each point of excess damage dealt to that enemy. By this attack, discard the top card of your deck and add each aggression red card discarded this way to your hand. Then one by one, a one cost event, an attack, hero action, deal two damage to an enemy. If this attack defeats that enemy, deal two damage to another enemy or an enemy. Then we have two power of aggressions. Then fluid motion, one cost upgrade. After you play an attack event as a hero response, exhaust this card. Your hero gets plus one attack until the end of the phase. Then we have honed technique, three cost upgrade. Requirement is two mentals, max one per player. It's an interrupt. When you play an aggression attack event, if you paid for that event using a mental resource, increase the amount of damage that event deals by its printed cost. All right, moving over to our basic cards. We have Moon Girl, three cost ally, four to two attack of two and three health. Champion Genius, play only if your identity has a champion or genius trait. Response, after you play Moon Girl from your hand, draw a card for each mental resource you use to pay for. Then we have three everyday heroes resource. While your identity has a civilian trait, this card can be spent for any player and gains the text response. After you spend this card for a player, heal one damage from that player's identity. Then we have the Champion's Mobile Bunker, two call support, it's a champion vehicle, hero action, exhaust this. Uh, choose an identity with a champion trait. The player who controls that identity may draw two cards and discard two cards from their hand. So that's his core set there, or pre-con. Then the obligation, Weight of the World, give to the same Alexander player. While this card is in play, Supernova Helmet cannot ready. It's an alter ego action, exhaust Sam Alexander, remove this obligation from the game. Then going into our Nemesis cards. Bring the War, when revealed, each player discards a card they control with a printed wild resource. For each card discarded this way, place one threat here. Then we have the Warbringer himself. Schema one, attack of three, five health, forced interrupt. When he attacks you, he gets plus one attack. For that attack, for each card with a printed wild resource in your hand, and that attack gains overkill. Then two war deliveries, treachery, when revealed, you may spend a wild resource. If you do not, the villain and warbringer each attack you, even if you're in alter ego form. Boost, place a thread on the main scheme for each card with a printed resource in your hand. Then the war has been brought. Surge, when revealed, discard X cards from the top of the encounter deck, where X is equal to the total number of printed wild resources on cards in your hand, cards under your control, and cards in your discard pile. All right, then moving on to our extras. We have Y'all Enroll, one cost event for justice. Aerial and Thwart, play only if your identity has the aerial trait. Hero response, after your hero thwarts, remove three threats from a scheme. Then for protection, one cost upgrade, height advantage, an aerial tactic. While your identity has an aerial trait, reduce the amount of damage you take from each enemy attack by one. Forced interrupt, when your turn begins, discard this card. All right, then moving on to our armadillo set. Got armored assault, each enemy with a tough status gains plus three attack. Armadillo, schema one, attack of two, eight health. Comes in with toughness, can have any number of tough status cards. Force response, after he activates against you, give him a tough status card. Then roll in and roll in. Plus two attack, attach an armadillo. If he's not in play, search encounter deck and discard pile for him. Put him into play, engage with you, and attach this card to him. While he has a tough status card, characters cannot defend against his attacks. Ouch, that's going to hurt. 
And then Tough and Tumble. When revealed an alter ego, each enemy with a tough status card schemes. If no enemy activated this way, gain surge. And then when revealed hero form, each enemy with a tough status card attacks you. If no enemy activated this way, this card gains surge. And then tough it out. Two of those. When revealed, give Armadillo and the villain each a tough status card. If one or fewer tough status cards were given this way, this card gains surge. So that is everything in the Nova Hero Pack for Marvel Champions. As always, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, so please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.